I am in fact emulating this. I don't have a capture card for my 3D or my either kind of DS really. So I just kind of have to hope this works. And audio will probably be a little bit off. I, I tested it. It's reasonably close, but not, you know, properly accurate, unfortunately. Which is the sound is always the last thing to get right in a uh, emulator. Oh right, Nintendo has the A on the right. It feels weird to have this all empty. I I beat the game on DS, but uh, obviously that doesn't matter for the emulator. All right, let's get our store. Oh. Excuse you? Uh, let's erase the file and start over, I guess. I figured it would show the intro. <laughs> yes, I'm very sure. There you go! Oh, you never played Squeak Squad? It's pretty good. Early afternoon in Dreamland. It's so peaceful that even the clouds are drowsy. Favorite, Kirby's favorite time of the day. Snack time. When is it not snack time for Kirby? Today's yummy snack is a sweet fluffy strike of strawberry shortcake. Time to dig in. Whoa, the cake Kirby was about to eat has suddenly vanished. Scrumptious berry top slice of mouth-watering goodness. No doubt about it. This had to be the work of the greedy King DDD. Well, there's no time to waste. Let's get that cake back! That's how the Kirby's latest fantastic adventure begins. Computer almost combusted from streaming. It can be fairly intensive on CPU. You can always try streaming at lower frames per second, lower resolution, stuff like that. Yeah, it is kind of hard to go back to Squeak Squad and any of the pre, you know, any of the low, you know, single attack for power games. It does have this unfortunate thing where it's kind of recycled from the uh, GBA um, games. In my opinion, um, Canvas Curse is the best uh, DS Kirby game. But none of them are really bad. Really say there are any straight up bad Kirby games. I, I would say Dreamland 1 and 2 are kind of the roughest, but you know, they're also the earliest. But I can't really call them bad either. So it was fun setting up this weirdo um, layout. It's not really too bad, considering as long as the second one of the screens isn't very important, it's not too hard. So a gimmick of Squeak Squad, of course, is that you have bubbles in the touch screen, so you can. Uh, and it also has abilities that uh, sort of you can you know get some secrets if you have the right ability, which is you know. Pretty common in Kirby games, anyway. Later levels? I don't really recall having issues with uh, the later levels in Canvas Curse. Ugh. Yeah, sorry, the sound's just gonna do that. It's uh, it's an emulator. Now nah, this is a 2D. This is a normal DS game. Why don't you? Oh, there we go. If you want to get all of the treasures, you can kind of only ever have two items in your stomach. Which, by the way, that's what Kirby's stomach looks like, apparently. Oh yeah, this does have ability mixing, too. And no, I didn't get a capture card, that's why we're emulating. And that's why sound is occasionally going to get crappy. I always play on original hardware if I can, but uh, 
Like VedP said, a 3DS capture card is 300 bucks. Plus, I would either need to deface my 3DS or get another new one, which is, you know, another 200 bucks on top. And I don't think normal DS capture cards are that much cheaper. Not cheap enough that I would just go ahead and do it. Yeah, it kind of does look like Nightmare, which is suspicious. Also, we have weird fire switches in this game. Timing is always the hardest thing for emulators to get right, so that's why I think Zero's a little weird. I'm actually playing with a branch of Desmumi that um, lets you use higher resolution for uh, 3D games, though this game obviously won't benefit because it's 2D. Um, you know, I usually need... I'm not going to do 100% run. Um, it's not really... We do get ghost power if we 100%, or at least if you get, you know, all of the ghost medals. But, uh, it's a really neat power, and it must have taken a surprising amount of work to get working, but it's also extremely impractical. Oh, right. But 2DS isn't too expensive, though, I mean, it's really not... Like, the 3DS isn't even the majority of the price. Like, I was really hoping, since the 2DS, you know, isn't very compact, like, like, that they could, you know, make a cheapo, like, $100 version of the capture card for the 2DS only or something. Uh, that didn't really happen. Ow! Get off! Jerk. Yeah, it's kind of weird how few combinations there are. Um... It's really just bomb and sword that mix, isn't it? Both of those can be charged to any element, spark, fire, or ice. scroll. So, a feature of this game, it's like, well, not in Metroidvania because the level layout is totally linear, but it has some unlockable features you can get, like fire scroll. I forget what that does exactly, but uh, you unlock some extra features of moves. Ugh, that poor sound. Yeah, Ghost is implemented pretty poorly. You can't use ladders. Um, it's really hard to keep with you. It's really not very good. It's really neat, though. There's no extra modes. There's the boss rush, of course. I forget if there's any other extra stuff in this game. Um, Canvas Curse and uh, Mass Attack. Mass Attack! has really good extra modes. Might as well get rid of that cherry. I guess we're gonna get crackles every time I open a door. I guess it's loading lag. You wonder why I started my stream one hour to Yeah, we're DST until... realized how not worth it that was. Um, yeah, we're still daylight savings time until sometime this week. Uh, we don't really need that. It's neat that you can stock up powers, but like I said, we only really get three slots. Or two slots, actually. Uh, so the gimmick of the, the big treasure chest is that they can knock it out of you, so the, the uh, squeaks always try to chase you. Because, you know, it's Squeak Squad. I'm beating food out of him. I would not want to eat a hamburger barfed out of a giant mouse. I'm sorry, Kirby. I don't. I don't. 
don't think I have the heart to that do that. Oh, what's in your castle? I forgot you can go in these. Thanks for the follow to the Oh, I forgot they respawn. Oh, I have to fight him again? Oh come on! It's not like it was a hard fight game. I can't believe we still do daylight saving sign. That's ridiculous. I want to say your time changes to night here. Maybe wrong. I, I think it's usually a Sunday. I, I don't know. I hope it's tonight so that I, you know, get most of the sleepiness out of my system before work. But whatever. The studies that show daylight saving time almost certainly kills people. By the way. And it also, there's also studies showing that it doesn't actually save energy, so it basically kills people and annoys everyone for absolutely no reason. Uh, great stuff. Oh, there's extra stages and stuff too. It will start to be harder to get chests, though there's really only a few that are fairly easy. Look how kawaii freaking. look at how good DDD looks. He's so cute. I hate sound design in this game. Um, if you haven't, um, like, if you haven't played it on DS, this is gonna sound a lot worse than it does on DS because of I'm emulating. Um, I don't remember if it has any weird stuff in the actual DS game. It's been a long time since I played this. I played it at launch. I don't- I definitely don't recall it being as amazing as, uh, Superstar, which has some of the best sound design, like, ever, in my opinion. Oh, hey! Tornado! Oh, and those mini Kirby's are a really stupid feature. You can combine three of them, I think, to get a one-up, but like most Kirby games, you don't really need one-ups, and stored space is kind of at a premium, so I'm probably never gonna bother picking them up. Do you mean stupid awesome? It's always been fairly- oh, rest in peace, high jump. High jump is a stupid power, but it, there's always rooms dedicated to it. Hey, Zilla. Look how intimidating the squeaks are. Just kidding. Well, the funny thing about Kirby games and lives is generally you lose absolutely nothing by getting a game over. So... <laughs> At very worst, you have to start over from the beginning of a stage instead of the midpoint. I guess that's kind of a punishment. So this game has lots of features like, uh, oh, never mind. I thought you had to have fire to break those, but I guess you don't. I, I, I guess since the game's gonna give me three of these just to show it off, I'll, uh... Alright, and this is, it's kind of neat that you can get a random power from this. Oh, you get a random... Item. Oh, hey, throw! Can you mix the two, or...? Alright, I guess you can conserve space. You just have to have one open space to grab the new ones. Yeah, now, you, now we get a one-up. I mean, it's not a terrible feature, but it's not very necessary. Obviously there is, like... What a short level. Yeah, obviously this is a secret, because otherwise there's absolutely nothing in this level at all. I think I just tried to do too many games to end up being something original somehow. It did kind of... I think the reason it feels unoriginal is because, I mean, a lot of features are scavenged, and even, you know, graphics and stuff are scavenged from, um... Uh, Mirror. And from the Game Boy Advance games in general. So, kind of a disappointing non-remix of, uh, DDD. -D. 
Easiest DDD fight ever. Yeah, I love that portrait. I plan on doing Planet Robobot. Uh, no. I would if I could, but I don't have a capture card, which is why I'm streaming this in a stupid emulator. I always play real hardware when I can, but uh, capture cards are 300 bucks. What's this? Someone's stolen King's DDD's treasure chest. Of course, he doesn't know a thing about the strawberry shortcake. Kirby once again gets the wrong villain. So what's going on? Who's really behind the disappearing shortcake? Suddenly a whirlwind appears, bringing a band of big-eared strangers who we totally didn't see in several levels immediately before this. Who are these guys? A band of thieves known as the Squeaks! With treasure chests in tow, they begin to jaunt, march jauntily away. Jaunt marchily away. King DDD acts quick as, a, quick as a wink. Look at the weird perspective on DDD here. Like, what is going on here? He grabs Kirby and hurls him at the squeaks. I love DDD's reaction, though. Just throw Kirby at him, whatever. What a shot! He throws a perfect <laughs> strike. The squeaks teeter and lose their balance. They tumble into a deep chasm, taking the treasure with them. Should lose shortcake as part of the Lost Lot. Looks like quest Kirby's quest isn't over yet. Oops. I kind of miss Cupid. We get Archer now. Cupid was fun. I mean, DDD is canon still a jerk even when he's, you know, the good guy. He's just less of a jerk sometimes. Alright, metal. Get ready for the worst power ever. Oops. That makes you incredibly slow! You are invincible, and occasionally you are required to have this. But uh, it doesn't actually have any attacks other than just being invincible. Yeah, we don't want that right now. These guys are also extra annoying to defeat, so uh... Can we remade the modern 3D style? It'd be... I don't know. I, I kind of... I like 2D. Like... I can't really think of a Kirby game that I'm like, nah, these graphics, you know, this game would be, you know, really improved by a change of graphics. Like, maybe Dreamland 2? Like, expanded to? Like, oh, and here's an exclusive power to this game. You can turn enemies into bubbles! Not really that useful unless you need to stow away a bubble for, like, unlocking a certain treasure chest or something. Yeah, I think this game's sprite works really good. It's better, in my opinion, than, um... Than the Game Boy Advance ones. They get some crap for being, you know, very, very similar to those, but uh, I think it does reuse a lot of sprites from the Game Boy Advance ones, but not backgrounds. Oh, right. Yeah, this is why, like I said, the bubble feature is kind of not as cool as it seems like it should be. Because we will be constantly dropping stuff because of the treasure chests. I do love the animation and attack of the bubble hat, though. It's not a bad power. It's just that bubbles aren't really as useful as they want to be. Oh, you mean gameplay-wise? Yeah, I do. I really like the Kirby 3D Rumble, and I really want to see them make. Um, let me see if I can find a picture of that. Or not Game Boy Advance, Game Cube. Um, it, this game kind of its visual style made it in to the DS Kirby game, the the into Robobot. But doesn't this look pretty cool? Pretty cool. Like, it would probably play fairly Kirby-like, but uh, I think it looks really neat. But, yeah, we never really got it.
Kirby <laughs> looks like he got a bubble bath and forgot to dry his head. Do I take game requests? Uh, sometimes. I mean, feel free to ask. Um, generally, I take requests when they are short and reasonably weird, like, uh, will you ever return? Um, was not a request, but, uh, it would be- you would want to request something like that. It was like, an hour and a half, max. Um, it was to my tastes, you know, it was weird. Kirby 3D World? Kind of. Ow. I don't really mind Kirby staying a 2D platformer, but it does- that game did look really cool. I do think Kirby could work fine with 3D though, but uh, like 3D Rumble works well. It does play differently though. Oh, <laughs> worst, worst secret room ever. Oh, the sound is just off enough to bug the crap out of me. This is why I don't emulate whenever possible. I th I do think when I play Yoshi's Island emulated, I it should be a lot better than this, because uh, Higgin is really accurate. Uh, this Mumi is just kind of the best we have. Ow. Hey, Lumder. That's alright. A lot of people showed up at once, so I haven't been saying hey, but you are all quite appreciated. Ow. All 18 of you, apparently. I should probably put the viewer count on screen somewhere. Sometimes people don't realize I'm multi-stream. And like, none of the individual uh, view counts are accurate because of that. Get out of here! And this this is never fun. When you have to play the game, well, it's mostly a problem because of, you know... Um, I have to take my hands off my controller because I'm emulating. It's so gross that we get food out of him. Like, you know that's just like coming out of his gullet. Yeah, replaying Yoshi's Island would be really fun. Um, it, um... I haven't, I haven't played it in completeness since, uh... Since... Phew, sometime in college, I think. Full 3D game curve would be difficult. Only that is working 3D. I don't know. I think a lot of abilities could work decently. Um, like beam, you just have things move in an arc. You know, beam could work in an arc. Um, my main concern would be like, do attacks lock on, or would they have to widen everything? I mean, they can always make new abilities. You know, they've... Ah. Is Kirby a ghost? Did not have a reference to it. Ow! Oh! Oh! I forgot the little squeaks can steal the treasure! That is honestly awesome. Oh. Goodbye, power. Yeah, if you're not playing this on an emulator, it's really easy to just tap and get an ability while playing. That's a little more awkward now. Let's make them like nerfed air ride abilities. Yeah, I guess they do have air ride to work off too. Oh right, I think I do need bubble. Bubble has decent range, so it's pretty good. Oh, come on. Oh right. Yeah, like, I was just saying that earlier, um, Radical, I, uh, Kirby doesn't really have bad things, it's just like, you know, the worst, I would say the D the GBA games were kind of a lowish point, like, Amazing Mirror definitely has problems, but I wouldn't call it a bad game. He's a good orb. I love the dash attack with uh, beast, or animal I guess it's called. 
Oh. I'm so disappointed that enemies have health bars in this game, but it doesn't show their names. I always love when games tell you enemies' names. I think the first game I played that did that was, um... Uh, Kirby's Dream Land 3, actually. Oh yeah, I remember that. There's a freeze frame on the Kirby Wiki of the, uh, thief, and it just looks like a Waddle Dee with speed lines. Oh hey, ninja. I'll, I'll take that ninja thing. I'll take it instead of this. Are we getting a block ball? I haven't played the- I haven't played most of the side games, really. Most of the side games are pretty good, though, like Canvas Curse, um... Mass Attack... Mr. Flosty? I'm gonna floss you. Is fun. Yeah, I've heard decent things about like Star Stacker and Block Ball. I think they're simple, but Tilt and Tumble is the one side game that I don't have that I really do want to play. Uh, I figure I'll try them all out someday. Um, are they all on um, 3DS? The, the thing about 3DS and Wii U Virtual Console is that like, am, am I gonna get the game on Switch? Probably not, considering Nintendo's history. Um, so I just kind of want to wait. And hopefully, since it's a portable system, uh, they'll have... Oops. I forgot his... He freaking explodes when you attack him even once. Um, yeah, I'll just wait until Switch before I buy anything more on Virtual Console. The DSVC has all Game Boy Kirby games except Tilt and Tumble. Oh, that's really cool! Tilt and Tumble's Game Boy, any Game Boy Advance anyway, and it obviously has the tilty thing, which I guess they could emulate on Wii U, but uh, maybe not. Oh right, it's one of these. Side so games in 3D. Yeah, if you like rhythm games, they're good. I, I didn't really like Drum Dash. But uh, otherwise, I really liked um, Triple Deluxe. Wait, Tilt and Tumble was Game Boy Color? It was? Oh. oh Could have sworn it was Game Boy. I think I'm thinking of the Wario game. Oh, that's just a Mega Maximum Tomato. Yeah, I didn't like Drum Dash, but I don't really. I'm not good at rhythm games. Alright, and this is the one game where sleep actually has a beneficial quality. One thing I do think is kind of neat is this game isn't afraid to have those little short levels. That would just be like a room in a larger thing like um, Great Cave Offensive and other things. Like Warrior Wear Twisted, wasn't it? This game so you reuse more music than Planet Robobot. Yeah, reuse was pretty high in this era of Kirby games. I don't really think it's like a terrible thing, but ow. Uh, did I finish that thought? But yeah, sleep heals you if you get the sleep ability scroll. I think every ability has a scroll, or a lot of them do anyway. And they change how things work. Also, someone remind me to actually show off sword and ability, like the the mixed. Oh yeah, here, I'll, I'll try to get it if I can find sword. The problem with ability mixing is that you either have to use the bubble power or you have to find the bubbles, because you can't just have sword and mix in ice if you have an ice bubble. You have to have both as a bubble, and it's annoying. Oh, right. Obviously, you can just freeze lava with ice. Nicholas. How come Nightmare and Dreamland got two games of the same style and gameplay but not KSSU? 
Yeah, I don't know. Superstar Ultra is really great, though. I, uh... Ah, oof. I should play it that sometime, but... I sort of didn't want to do a remake with bad emulator stuff. If I ever get a capture card, or if it ever comes out... Well, I guess I could, it's probably on Wii U, but I don't want to spend another 10 bucks on it. But if you haven't played Superstar Ultra, I really do recommend it. It's really great. Also, even the metal mini-boss is so lame. I'm pretty sure. Usually if a power is a mini-boss, you need it. Yeah, yeah, we need it. Oh, man. Best power ever. Watch what we can do with this amazing, high-quality power. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I thought you had to fall from a good height with this thing to break those. Oh. I guess I just played myself. Oh well. Get over here! Ah! Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, you found me from the the Reddit Kirby Discord? Oh, ow. No. Frick. Give me throw. I didn't know you can inhale those guys. Usually rude things with two health you can't inhale in Kirby games. Yeah, glad you're enjoying the stream. You have to transform for it to work? What do you mean? You're always metal in that- with that ability. Oh, well, I got it anyway. Or do you- Oh, can you transform into a ball? I- Maybe you do. I forget. Like I said, I haven't played this game since around when it came out. I actually emulated it, um, just as kind of a test, really, but, uh, I completed it 100% on 3DS and I sort of tested it just to see if, you know, 3DS games could be emulated. The sad thing is 3DS games emulate, or normal DS games, emulate exactly as well now as they did, um, like, six years ago. It's kind of pathetic. You jump and hit the attack button. Oh! Alright. Not a big deal. I, I got my way through it anyway. Spooky master hands. That's not what I meant to do, but whatever. Oh! What a jerk! I didn't know they could eat food! <laughs> I guess it makes sense it's for their character, but... Also, Gordo... I believe this is the last game where Gordo flashes, strangely. They just have regular old... ability to have for this. Oh dang, really poor ability. I figured that would do a lot more damage. Let's just get bubble. Then I can store a hammer for later. Come on. Oh! Well, today I learned you can't get freaking hammer in a bubble. Okay. Rip one treasure chest. I knew at some point we would start missing out on treasure chests. Ah. Freaking sound issues. I did my very best to get the sound right, but it really... was pretty much the best Desmumi can get. There might be a later version of this branch of Desmumi. This is the one that lets you... Oh, right. That's another annoyance of the, uh, bubble powers. You can end up with tons of these stupid star ones. They just give you a star to spit out, as if you had actually inhaled something. Anyway. Managing what's in your belly is kind of an annoyance in this. Get out of here. 
you manage an enemy connecting to an enemy you're throwing, does a ton of damage. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. I usually just throw it. Get back here. Oh, and I like how they react to the three, the spark, fire, and, uh, ice. <laughs> Excuse you, could you cut that out? Oh. No! Power! Give me my power back! Aww. Oh, whatever. Uh, I don't really have any good powers. Ow. Thank you. Spooky sword, yes. The circle of the straw appears and smaller than the mouse himself. Alright, so how do I... Are you sure about that ball thing? I think that might be an ability scroll thing. <laughs> be careful, you can't get hurt. But don't get mad if you break stuff. It's not perfect, okay? Oh, that reminds me, I was going to take a picture of a bunch of, um, ability quotes like that. Ah, sound. Sorry. Um, and then I could share them like I'm doing with the fixtures on Kirby, uh, on Kirby Facts. Vitality. Let's see if we get more health. I do think the collectibles were a cool idea in this game. They did kind of jam a lot of ideas into this. They're not all super well executed. But yeah, you have to get the ability scroll to do the, uh... The ball thing. Oh yeah. Scroll. High quality boss material here. Best boss ever. I got any spray paints? I have not really paid the best attention to what items I've got. I probably have by now. I'll I'll open it up. I'll open up the boss bat. Oh. How much do we miss? Those cute little intermission things. Oh, we just missed that oh, we missed two things. Ah, what, what, whatever. We won't worry about that. For Kirby Facts, April Fool's gonna post mother content. I usually, I usually do Waddle D facts for, uh, wait, oh, touch item to view. I usually do Waddle D facts for that. Alright, we can change colors from, right, we don't have to go back to the main menu. That was an annoying thing in Mirror. You have to, wow, that is, like, nuclear green Kirby. Um, let's be nuclear green. Uh, I forgot you can change mid-game here. Unlike, uh, Mare. Yeah, I don't know why they don't have spray paint for 3D Kirby. <laughs> I love the- I love the transparent sheet the ninja holds up. Or like, rage games? Do you mean like, you know, masochistic platformer stuff? Because, no, not really. Delightfully eye searing, yes. Alright, with right abilities, you can burn the clouds. Alright, I forgot you can grab on stuff. Whee! In certain speedruns, you actually need ninja because of the faster. Oh! <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> because of the faster downright movement. Yeah, this is the game with Ghost. I love how they give you... There wasn't... I couldn't cancel out of that, by the way. You just have to go all the way down. Alright. I think it's a later level you have to burn some clouds to, uh, advance. Alright, give me Cupid. Never mind, I don't want Cupid. Ah, <laughs> Bright green ninja. You fail to blend in so hard that you blend in. I'm gonna take a nap. 
Do not disturb, I need my beauty rest. Need that. Get it. I don't need the mini curb out! Don't really care too much for pre. Ah. Pre multiple attack spark. Back when. Well, it's basically still plasma. But we call it spark now, I guess. Which is a shame because plasma had a way cooler hat. Yeah, a lot of the music is from Amazing Mirror and um, I think Dreamland. Uh, Nightmare in Dreamland, too. Oh, worse than secret. You guys are so stupid because you know they're going to be looking for army guys. <laughs> exactly. They're going to be looking for the ninjas. When you have the secrets of the bright green citrus. Nothing can see you. Nothing can see us because they'll be blinded by my citrus glory. Alright, you can charge. Oh, now that's... Once again, all of the cool things you can do with abilities in this game are unfortunately... Um, tied to ability scrolls that we don't have yet. Oh, you can charge Mark? Oh yeah, I'm forgetting things. I guess we may as well get the throw, if we get a spare. Amazing Mirror 1.5? Kinda. Like I was saying earlier, th th there was definitely a lot of reuse going on in this uh, era of Kirby stuff. Uh, how did you get in my inventory? Out of here. I feel like... The chests really shouldn't take up inventory space, because it really makes bubble management a lot more frustrating and dumb than it really should be for, you know, an amazing new feature TM. collecting the treasure, but it just doesn't mix well at all. Oh, okay, we got great. I got great what you watching, son. Sorry to expose you to that. There we go. Is Kirby a female? Kirby is genderless in Japanese and uh, officially uses uh, male pronouns in any English material. The, the easiest answer to that is Kirby is Kirby. Oh yeah, it's Benny's Coke bottle glass. That's the UFO one, right? With Coke bottle glasses. Let's get sorted. I'm pretty sure the official intent is for Kirby to not have a gender, but, you know, American marketing stuff, especially in, you know, like, late night or early 90s? Yeah, it, it had to be a guy at that point. like sword as much when there's no dash attack. Because then when stuff is approaching you fast or like has the ability to approach you fast, you don't really have a proper recourse. Do you give magic in this game? Yeah, you do. Alright, let me... I want to sew this idle animation real quick. I love his mystified face. I don't think a lot of people notice that, because it's hard to get. Like, there's no reason to sit still and see it. And I don't... I think other abilities have... I think Animal scratches itself. I forget if any of the other ones have, uh... Interesting stuff. I like that it's palette matched. I love how the birds are surprisingly dangerous. Mm -hmm. 
get out of here. It's kind of funny how not dangerous they are. They really aren't a major impediment at all. The English male pronouns sometimes always are natural. Yeah, that's true. A lot of times, star seals. Collect them all for a surprise. All right, do we have to get all of those to beat the to get to the final boss? I don't recall. I think the big treasure chest is very hard to miss, and I think it always has the important stuff like those. The yeah, magic is actually a pretty good ability. It's got really good ranged options. Oh. <laughs> it stops her way too loud for his frame. Also random big waddle dees. I'll take that, but I won't. Alright, this might be harder than I thought. Oh. I just want to keep my magic hat. I think only the box, Boxy, I think her name is, drops um, box or er, magic. So uh, I want to keep it. Yeah, Kirby's hat looks really nice. Even if it's a giant. Wait, does he hide in his hall? I'm a little disappointed that his crouch animation is not just him flopping down into the hat and like being invincible, like some of the superstar abilities will do for the helper. Also, cloud hole. Ow. Ah, oh, no magic. Oh. You know what you get for that? That's what you get. Cloud Vortex. Yeah, Mirror is my favorite. Oh, hey. New feature in this game. I think they changed him to a monkey in, uh, in one of the later Kirby games. But yeah, Gold Bottle D makes his first appearance here. You gotta beat him up for a treasure. Is the YouTube stream randomly skipping? Oh! I dropped some frames. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. It doesn't seem to still be happening. Um... Uh, everything looks pretty normal at my end. I'll keep an eye on it. Has it stopped now? Because it's not it's not dropping any frames for me right now. Uh, let me take a quick peek at my own stream here. Uh, if you're on YouTube and having issues, you might want to use, um, you know, change the quality setting to something lower. Of course, I can't tell if it's dripping frames if I'm watching on a static screen. Yeah, 5% of drop frames is pretty poor. Oh, now I'm dropping frames again. What is it doing? Hold on. I was kind of worried something would happen with because I'm emulating. Um, the CPU usage is kind of high. Hmm. Wait, why is my CPU? Is that all this movie? Wait, what? CPU utilization numbers don't really add up, but why is it dropping frames? Ugh. All right. Well, yeah, it's dropping again. So I'm gonna I'm gonna reboot here real quick. Ugh. Well, I'll finish this level and then I'll give a reboot. 
I really hate this. Ugh. Oops. Wait. That should be fine. Oh, right. What was I gonna do with throw against him anyway? Just immediately leave. I really like this magic ability. Is it still dropping? Seven percent is pretty bad, so if it starts dropping again, I'm gonna reboot real quick, I guess. Ugh. Least favorite part of streaming is all of the technical bullcrap. I really wish Bubble did not make the star bubbles. They're really annoying and pretty much useless. Ow. Uh, it seems like it's doing it again. Here we need the uh, <laughs> Kermit's back. I don't really think it's the internet, though. Well, I, I don't. I don't really. Ah, figures. Seeing skips again. <sighs> yeah, I have enough idle CPU. I really don't think it's the CPU. Is anything using my network? Why am I receiving? Is Steam downloading something? What? What is? Oh, I'm downloading my own stream. Duh. Um, is it lower now? Ugh, I hate this. All right, sorry. I don't, I don't want worse power. Is there secrets over here? Alright, UFO's in this, isn't it? A minute behind on beam? That can't be right. Are you sure you're not, like, on a not live? I've never had beam be that delayed. Usually things downloading isn't a big- oh! the devil. Let's get rid of this garbage. Oh, thanks for the follow, Radical. <laughs> UFO's kind of always wicked OP. I'm not sure if I need fire again in this level. Secrets. So I'm gonna keep it for a little bit. Alright. One of these. What the heck is using my bandwidth? Um. Yeah, technical issues are definitely the absolute worst part of streaming. OBS, what's receiving? that helped. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna finish this level, and then I'm gonna reboot real fast. And, uh... No! You gotta be kidding me. I just lost a treasure chest because I had too many items that...
Yeah, the clouds do look delicious. But they taste like cotton candy. I didn't know you could inhale him. That's amazing. Alright. Sure. Keeps dropping hits and spurts. Um, let's change our color, shall we? What do we got on? Oh. Just one new one? Not sure, let's go for lavender. Oh. <laughs> Just a trap. Okay, thanks. Kind of shouldn't have helped, but I think it did. Oddly enough. Oh no, I think it's dropping again. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna reboot real quick. Oh. I knew it was a trap, and I still did it. Wait, wasn't I supposed to reload state? It probably doesn't make any difference, does it? Oh, I'm in exactly the same place. Okay, fine. Uh, don't you drop frames. You're not allowed to drop frames. Why do you do this? Okay, I think this movie is just flipping out. Sure there's much I can do to speed up this movie, unfortunately. I don't know if it's fixed or not. It did drop some frames, but not too many so far. It's kind of funny that sword says cut in his final cutter, even though. Cutter is in the same. Yeah, it kind of is. Alright. Simple little puzzle slash trap here. Those are, in fact, the destroy blocks. The blocks that destroy themselves when you step on them. Oh. Just went that way. It went. Alright. Waddle D, please. Or Waddle Do, rather. Please step on the switch. Aw, oh, you jerk! He was only pretending. <sighs> Alright, so what do I do to get that? Wait, what was I? I'm all turned around now because of all this stream bullcrap. Oh, yeah, this was or already was. I don't know, I, I guess... If it persists, I might just stop. Can I hit that? No. There's gotta be some... See. Oh, wait, wait, was that where it came from? That was where I came from, wasn't it? Dang it. I just all turned around. Ow. Oh, 
F5 is... Wait, what? Excuse me while I'm having stream problems. If it keeps having issues, I think I'll quit after this next boss for tonight. I really don't get what the problem is. I think I don't know. It seems like it might be OBS's fault because at some points it just stops sending. Here again we are with the. Uh, I love how half the time they're just of absolutely zero threat. I, I guess they come through here, don't they? Ow. It's kind of neat that they, they attack through multiple screens like that, though. Ow. Screw it. Screw the rules, I have green hair. You activate that spike thing just to catch that poor mouse. Rest in peace, that squeak. Hey, Dennis. Oh, hey, we got orange. Alright. Touch controls. Everyone's favorite. Get some nice orange. Oh right, I remember these. See, this does do some fun stuff with the uh, abilities. This isn't actually a new track, right, isn't it? There are some in this. Fire. Is there ground down there? No, that's just a column. Oh. Do I need a scroll? Alright, I think that just makes it bigger or something. A lot of the ability scrolls are fairly tame. Oh, hey, speaking of. Where's Parker? He's not being too annoying right now. He was being much more annoying earlier. Oh, come on, how was that? How did that not hit? How is it? Why was it not turning? But it wasn't Krakow after all! Aw, oh, come on. Am I streaming Sunday? Uh, yeah, I'm streaming Yoshi's Island Sunday. It's not freaking attacking. Uh, you know what? Tornado is really OP in this fight. As long as you don't, like, fall into a pit. That is the tornado's one weakness. Pits. Alright, 
No, isn't that? Yeah, it's a Robobot um, reference, not Turbo Deluxe, I believe. Yeah, Parker was climbing on a uh, cabinet in the bathroom, and it's not really designed to support that amount of weight. And there's not, there's not even anything up there. He just likes being up high and being places where he's not supposed to be. And it's nice that it shows you when you have the ability scroll for a thing. We're dropping 6% of frames. I, I don't know if it's really enough to quit on. But I, I'll upload the local copy of this so you, have, you don't have to watch the frame drops in the VOD. That is the worst fight in the game. I disagree. The the mole is the worst. That was that was decent enough for a Krakow fight. Too easy if you have you know um, tornado, the thing I had. But uh, Miss Mole is really bad. The sound effect ripped from Superstar. The punchy sound. Uh, the, the stream lag, the drop frames are better, but not fixed. Whatever. I'll probably quit after next boss here and just upload the VOD, like I said. Oh, you mean the arena? Oh yeah, it's definitely- it's different from all the other fights, yeah. I thought you meant bad as in low quality, not bad as in hard. Uh-oh. Rest in peace, treasure chest. I was surprised how- I did a worst boss poll, and I was surprised how well, uh, Dark Nebula performed. Um, in my opinion, Dark Crafter or Yin Yarn. Uh, they're both real bad, but Dark Crafter is probably the biggest disappointment to me. Oh dang, it's a little more cut off than I thought it was. Don't ask me to do these things on the fly. Uh, no, I'm streaming from emulator, which is why the sound is weird. Um, I don't have a capture card. Alright, quit is the- th there we go. Yeah, capture card's like 300 bucks for 3DS. And it's just really not worth it. I, I, I could find enough uses for it if I had one. But not three hundred dollars worth. Like, eh. and with Switch being you know recordable, and you know games are gonna start all being on Switch very soon, I'm sure. Um, it's just not really worth it to me. It's kind of annoying since I can record basically everything but Switch, but uh, 
but whatever. All right, here we go. Oh. I could have swore. Is it ice? Is it... F Does spark and sword not mix? I could have sworn you could mix... Maybe it's only fire. I think it's bomb that mixes with spark. Yeah, once again, the, the, the abilities are just way too picky. Why am I using worst ability? Yeah, I'm looking forward to see whatever that Kirby game they have for Switch. It'll probably be a mainline title, too, since, you know, no hardware gimmicks. Ow. But, um, what was I gonna say? I don't- there's probably not gonna be a Kirby game for launch. There really never is anymore. I guess Air Ride was our last Kirby launch title. Seems like it didn't perform very well. Switch. Uh, but, what was I gonna say? I really do hope uh, Pikmin is a launch title, though. They said Pikmin 4 was, like, almost done. So, hopefully, we'll be getting that. There's always plenty of the mice infinitely spawn, so you can always use them as projectiles. Oh, he's a ninja! I forgot about that. I need to throw this big bomb at you, my friend. Aw, oh, the big bomb does not explode on him. Alright, you get food out of them if you hit them when they're down. Epic Yarn didn't use too much motion controls, though what it did use was really freaking annoying, because it used that train. But, nah, I mean more like... Now, I didn't dislike Rainbow Curse. It wasn't the best, but... It was mostly the boss. The boss was an anticlimax, and it's annoying that you really... basically can't use the screen. The TV screen. It's just, it just doesn't work. Like, people watching you play get to see better graphics than you do. That seems a little rude to me, personally. Oh, the Star Seal. I believe the Star Seals are unmissable if you, uh, as long as you get all of the big treasure chests. Not quite arena. I'm opposed to motion controls as long as they work. It's kind of the problem. They usually don't. Well, in VR stuff, I've had... I've been really impressed with VR motion control stuff so far. It's been... It's worse, which is usually not the case. Um, I don't mind gyro stuff for aim. That has usually been fine. The problem is the Wii. They just try to use it as a regular input, like waggle. Um, you know, like the mapping just a button to waggle on the Wii was like the worst of it. Or like, they would force it where it didn't belong. That was the that was the bad thing about motion controls. They just, whenever they have a new idea, they always use it way too much where it's not appropriate. That's why I kind of hope Switch does not have multi-touch at all.
I really don't think motion controls are that bad. Like, I'm not one of those people that thinks like, oh, yeah, I absolutely will never play anything ever with motion controls, but uh, it's definitely, at least provide an option. Or it should like really make a lot of sense. Flip controller to do a thing mechanic is usually under. Now, flip controller to use a thing, if you mean waggle, like, that's the worst of it, in my opinion. Because the thing about waggle instead of a button, like, there are games that don't even use all of the buttons, but they still require you to waggle to perform an action that is no different than just pressing a button. Wait. Oops. Apparently, right trigger is safe. Jump in this one. Yeah, yeah. Oop. <laughs> I like how he's got a bomb arm. Yeah, motion can er, connect. Motion connect. Connect is what I would call pretty bad for input. I never used the new connects, and I mean, I probably never will. Um, rest in pieces. It's been an NSM beer galaxy. Uh, no, I, that's... I know what you mean, but it's it's still bad in my opinion. Uh, at its very best, it was, you know, a replacement for a button they didn't have. And they deliberately have less buttons on those controllers, so I mean... It's still bad. Motion control, you press a button once or twice every second. There's a motion control, you use a button mashing jammer, thanks. I consider all waggle pretty bad. Like, I only like motion control when it's like, like job sim, where you are actually moving things in 3D space. Like, that's, you know, that's kind of the point. Tap tap see this comment? Yes, I can read the chat. That's why it's up there. I can see you at any time. I'm always watching you. Get out of here. Get, get out. And what are you? Get out. Get out. Ugh. Out, damaged spot. I do like the spark sending, you know, sparks along the metal. I really hope this freaking drop frame scrap does not happen with Yoshi's Island tomorrow. <sighs> if you didn't know, I mentioned it literally. <laughs> I really like the bubble mini boss. It's just a crab blowing a ring of bubbles. Spoilers. Trono, don't make me time you out. Oh right, there's the charge mobile. I forgot about that. I wonder what ability you need to break these metal blocks. I do like the little animation. Barely see it. But it plays a cute little animation when you melt the blocks. Incredibly easy to see ninjas. He eats shuriken instead of kunai for some reason with this ninja variation. Oh, 
Oh, I like his anal idle animation. I forgot about that. He's always ready to throw. Wait, I should probably take this with me. Gimme. Oh, no fire dash? Oh, for Pete's sake, get out of my inventory. Yeah, they had previously done a new art style for pretty much every Kirby game, which is really impressive and kind of excessive, but um, the GBA and this game of the Kirby series uh, do reuse a lot. Rat burger. Delicious. I forgot about the graphic, the, the big picture you get. Is that even... I think you literally just see the picture. I'm not sure if that unlocks anything. Oh. <laughs> I forgot to actually play the stage. Yeah. Return to Dreamland, and especially Robobot and 3DX. You can definitely tell that 3DX and uh, Robobot are the same engine. But, um... It's less annoying in those, and also, we got Kirby games pretty quick, like... We got Kirby games faster than we usually would out of those games. I don't... I don't know. The Game Boy Advance was kind of a remake console. It, like, it, it just kind of reused everything it possibly could. I don't dislike my Game Boy Advance, but there's a lot of remakes and stuff on that console. Remasters, there's remakes, there's ports, there's reuses, there's all of the re's. Sure. We haven't been Umbrella yet, have we? Good old slow fall. Oh, hey. Oh! Wait. Was that just on a timer? Or was there a switch? Oh, well, it's gone now. NES emulator thing. I guess they had a couple, but like, there was the remake, um, the Mario Bros. Advance thing, or not Advance, uh, or yeah, it was in Mario Bros. Advance, the, um, the old arcade Mario, which I was never a fan of. Speaking of remaking, there's some really weird stuff going on with the game, the Diddy Kong games, or Donkey Kong Country games for Game Boy. Like, there's stuff like, um, there's this bootleg looking, um, port of Donkey Kong Country 1 for Game Boy Color. And then there's some, like, original games with the same name as completely different games, which is always fun. And there's a lot of weird stuff. Oh, 
YouTube timeout is only six minutes. Five minutes. I remember this, you have to go back down. Oh, squeak! No, give me that. Give me that. Oh. There we go. Oh. Miss me. Striked in YouTube? Do you mean content ID? I've never gotten content ID'd on Kirby so far. Nintendo usually doesn't send out strikes. Just, copyright strikes in general are pretty rare now. Kirby's a ghost? Yeah, Nintendo's usually all about content ID. Though they did remove a bunch of ROM hack videos from uh, Panga for some reason. Get a race to the finish. Which I'm probably not going to do at this rate. No! Frick. Welcome back. Oops. Sorry about that bumped cord behind my thing. Question mark? Tornado is pretty much always a boss wrecker. Oh, auto scroll boss. Oh, hello! I forgot how like half of the bosses in this game are just this guy. With new inventions. What do I eat? Everything. I'm Kirby. Hardest boss ever. Wouldn't be surprised if the Mario Bros. advanced games are based off of SMB's 3's SM. Isn't there some weirdness in the physics? Or is that with the All-Stars release? Yeah, the SNES games don't really work super well on on Game Boy. Most of the colors and the sounds and the aspect ratio are all off. All right. If you if you bump into a fire with tornado, you turn into tornado fire, and it's pretty great. I don't think we can do that here. Ow! Can I break clouds with wheel? No. Wait. 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 Oh. Nope. I could have sworn those two mixed. Maybe I have to get an ability scroll to let them mix? Super Mario Advance is pretty much straight from all stars. Yeah, I think it is. I think they put in some voice clips that are new. Um, what? Is there a block in the wick? There we go. I don't know why that didn't work the first time. Oh, hey, magic. Yeah, there's some changes. It's not like a straight port or anything. Though there's still a little... Definite padding of the library. Though kind of the point of the Game Boy was always, you know... Nintendo games, but portable. I just killed the power that I was supposed to be using there. It wasn't even for a treasure chest. Rip off.
Look, the SMB series isn't appreciated as much as it should be. I'm not sure I agree with that. Stylistically, it's like the worst Mario has been in ever. I mean, maybe SMB1, because they didn't really know how to use the, the freaking, you know, NES at that point. But, um, I really find the new SMB series pretty stale and bleh, especially visually. What is it? <laughs> I forgot his, like, chill breath. Soul Scroll. And another Star Seal. Have you ever tried the speedrun mode of this game? Extra, it's super intense. I looked at it. I never completed it. I tend not to be in for challenges quite like that, unless it's a short game. I don't tend to play games more than once. I just have so much to get to. For instance, I played six, seven different games. Um, just before this, uh, video. Or just before the stream. Please give me something with ice. You didn't give me something with ice. But I can show you the fire! It's unfortunately- it's unfortunate how rare the fire tornado is. But that's cool. Thanks for the follow! Carnimolia? Carnimolia? It's, it's always hard to read chat names. New chat names playing a game. So yeah, tornado doesn't do what I needed to do, but I'm glad I get to show off the fire tornado. There's a lot of really cool ideas in this game that don't really feel like they got proper time in the oven. Oh right, and the Boz. The Boz are the worst part of the new SMB series. Even worse than the art style that I don't like anymore. It was like super exciting on the Game Boy. Because they hadn't had a Mario Bros entry in a long time. And then that wore off real fast. The new SMB feels is so solid gameplay that I don't know. Physics. I guess I can't fault the physics, but personally... Personally, I would say the best Mario game is Super Mario World 2, which is to say Yoshi's Island, but, uh... Otherwise, of the 2D ones, I don't know, I haven't completely played. Um, I should say, New SMB 1 is the only new SMB game that I actually fully completed. But I was never too into the other ones. Vocal Volcano. Does the, do the name spell out things in this game? I forget. Maybe if they gave us Fire Tornado. It's almost from Air Ride. Oh, sorry. Here. Chat delay is too strong. At least on Twitch. Beam chat delay is fast enough. I'd probably have caught that. Yeah, the extra levels in your Shazam are super hard, but it's like, you know, they're extra levels. I do plan to complete, on my Yoshi's Island stream, I will beat the extra levels. I might have to use save states on those. I won't use save states for anything else, because I won't need them. But, uh, I never completed all of the extra stages, so I'll probably... I, I do want to see absolutely everything in the game, so I will go ahead after the, uh... Alright, this is... Is this mini boss? Oh! Ah! Right. You're supposed to get the mini boss power. Beam's misbehaving for you? Huh. I usually just hit F5 for most stream sites usually. Alright. I am dropping- I'm dropping about 5% of frames still, which is not all of them, obviously, but, uh... I don't know, it'll, it'll have issues now and again. Right. So 
This is one of those things where you, you always have to get, you know, in Kirby games generally, if there's a mini boss, you probably want its ability. Do I have... I don't have turned into a ball, though. I think I must have missed it. See, I can't really get that, because you have to turn into a ball to break those. If you're one of those people that counts 3D World as a 2D Mario, which I don't really... Like, I can see what you kind of say. It's like halfway. But... I definitely prefer 3D World to uh, to the SM new SMB series. That's what I was trying to say there. It's Mr. Flosty. He's gonna floss us. Icy cold floss. It definitely has some 3D, or it definitely has some 2D uh, mindset to it, which is good. But I wouldn't call it a 2D Mario. Digital Homicide didn't- I thought he went out of business and, like, would stop being relevant. Yeah, and there are some open areas in 3D World. It definitely has some design that couldn't just simply be, you know, crammed right in a 2D game. Again, we need animal. Ow. <laughs> when was the last time we actually lost a life on this? It's really pretty hard unless you fall off a cliff, of course. Oh yeah, 3D World is definitely the hardest post-game in the series. I can't think of anything that comes anywhere close. Um, though, in my opinion, Champion's Road isn't really great design. It's... I mean, it, it crams everything in the game into one level, but I don't know, it... Sure as heck wasn't fun trying to play it. I think most people bought, beat the uh, final level in 3D World. Ugh. I certainly wasn't gonna beat it with every character and every other level with every character. Like that—that that was just rude. The fact that you have to beat every level with every character to get the final like five stamps, six stamps, whatever it is. Yeah, Mario Maker not having co-op is kind of weird. And this one, the only challenge is that if you hit that button, he will die. But not in a way that gives you the thing, obviously. What, what do you have for me? <laughs> Garbage! Get out of here. But Mario Maker's all about social! You know, local level sharing for 3DS. It's totally a feature and not... The removal of a feature. Very much so, yes. Really, the, uh, I don't even know why Mario, like Mario Maker Switch or 3DS, does not should not really exist. They should have just brought it on the Switch and left it fully featured. To unbalance, I don't know. Like, is there a point to a balance in a game like that? In my opinion, not really. I mean, maybe disable it for, you know, leaderboards, but, you know, in my opinion, it's mostly just, you know, 
dumb fun. Like, oh, frick. Too high. Now, I thought I would do the thing where you fall fast enough and hurt him. Mario Maker is about losing your mind and slowly turning into a monster. That, that, that too. Now you're gonna get some Kirby games on Wii U. The, the Wii U! The Virtual Console selection is pretty good now on Wii U. Um, oh, I keep doing the jump instead of the attack! Ugh. Um. Aw, oh, you jerk. But at this point, I just, I'm waiting for the Switch, because I don't want to have to rebuy for the third time. And, yeah. I think, like, all of the 3D, the DS Kirby games are on. Oh, stop moving up, Kirby. There we go. Oh, for Pete's sake. Get out of my inventory, you garbage. Uh, Epic Yarn is actually pretty cheap to get physical. Um, Return to Dreamland is quite expensive. I paid like 50 bucks for it, and I... It was a steal compared to what other people pay now. If you want physical anyway. Wait. So... Did this just, like, spawn in their chest? Or their thing or something? Because, like, I did not have a chance to get this. Come here. No, don't run around. Best way to beat a boss. Ow. It's cheaper to get them than you have to unlock the game stuff. At least for me, um, I'm in the U.S., but you can get Epic Yarn for like, well, I bought it for like 10 bucks, but I think it's less than 20. Hey, Sorton. Oh, Superstar Ultra isn't on Wii UVC? Oh, that's a shame, because that's actually my favorite uh, DS Kirby game. It's in the strong running for my favorite Kirby game, period. Secrets. 30 bucks? That... That's that's GameStop prices, let's put it that way. Oh, I, I think I remember this level. This is a cute level. You run around and you get powers and stuff to uh, solve other puzzles. Some of these you just have to fight the freaking boss. Also, we can briefly see Fire Sword, I think. Oh, no, wait. I think we have to mix fire onto the sword if we can't. Just hit a fire source. Ah, that's fine. I, I probably won't be streaming too much longer. Just just this boss. I mean, not the one in this level, but um, this world boss. Ah! Oh, frick! I forgot the items get rearranged when you get hit. That's actually pretty cute. Freeze him! Alright, you need my treasure. Thank you. I'm streaming tomorrow? Yeah, I'm streaming uh, Yoshi's Island starting tomorrow. So, that would be a good stream to watch. It's my, uh, it's actually my patron, my owl. Rest in peace. Forgetting uh, my $40 goal on patron, um, we're doing the- oh! Um, yeah, my forty dollars goal on Patreon was to do a uh, Yoshi's Island stream, so that's what we're doing. Yeah, they'll be at six CST. Um, I don't know if tomorrow is daylight savings time or not. I'll, I'm just going for my local clocks. But it'll be whatever Central Time is tomorrow. I didn't realize what was in your mouth persisted between levels. That's Surprising. Sure, let's try high jump. Oh, 
which is a 3DS. Um, you can probably get one for about 100 bucks if you get a used, non-new one. I think new retail, new 3DS is, uh, 100, or 200 bucks. Off, beat sake. I think this guy is actually one of the hardest bosses in the game. DST is awful, because you don't really... You get one extra hour of sleep once, and then you get less sleep, and... Getting less sleep is way more significant on, than, you know, one hour of sleep. So it's definitely a neg net negative. Isn't it better to buy the new one? Um... In theory, new 3DS is really pretty worthless. Uh, if you really want to pay Nintendo even more for, you know, virtual console games you might already own, um, then yeah, you can get 3D the SNES VC on 3DS is nice, but I don't, I don't pretend to prefer to play. Let's get an ability that doesn't suck. Um, is there a tornado somewhere? Oh, oh, one of the last bosses had a tornado. No, quit. No, I said quit. Why does the quit? What? Stupid game. Ugh, buttons. Yes, this will be much easier with. You know, what, I'm gonna get two of these. Just because this boss really likes to put your abilities in the lava. I'm probably gonna stop streaming in about 10 minutes anyway. I'm just streaming until I beat this boss. Come on. Oh, come on. Does not go up as fast vertically as I thought it might. Also, is he a Tanuki Owl? Like, is that legal? Is that a thing that you can do? Like I said, this one loves to knock your ability into the thing. I'm surprised how much Nintendo likes Tanuki, considering the, you know, giant raccoon balls situation that it is involved with. Yeah, Fire Tornado is great. Well, next world is Ice Island, but uh, we're gonna head and go ahead and call it a stream since we've been having well, four percent drop frames isn't the worst thing. The red shading thing under his mouth looks like a... yeah, it kind of does. Yeah, I'll probably upload my local copy of this stream so we don't have all those missed frames. I do that. I try to do that anytime we uh, have major streaming issues because I always record locally. Yeah, that was fun. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, Oof.